Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Um, so I am streaming into the Crafty Chaotix group today. Um, and whoever's in there is coming up as Facebook user. So if you can please click on the StreamYard link that I'm going to put in there right now. Um, and all that does is let me see who you are. So hi, Jesse. Good morning. Hi, Martin. So I just popped in there. Hi, Mrs. King. So I can tell who it is because I popped over there. Um, hi, Callie. Hi, Sue Russin. Hi, Elizabeth. Did all the things sprinkle. Thank you so much. Hi, Miss Edie. Hi, Sue. Hi, Trina. Goodness gracious, you guys are fast today. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Rennie. How are you? All right. Hi, Therese. Oh, boy, a new group to be my annoying self. <laughs> yeah. I, hi, Jamie. I don't know who that is. Um, so, yeah, if you could just click on that StreamYard link, it'll let me see you now that you go if you're ever in that group again it's because it's the first time the group has had access to Streamyard. um so oh it's kim hi kim <laughs> so how are you guys how is everybody today hello hello again if you can please click on that Streamyard link because i can't see who you are so hello troy troy I don't see the stream yard. You don't see the link that I just put in there. Um, hold on. Let me open it up and then put the link in here because I just did it from the outside. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. So it's www.streamyard.com backslash Facebook. How come I can't share? Uh, if you're in there, I'm not sure. Um, again, if you're you it's an it's oh you can share it's up in the top it's up at well i'm on the computer but you can share in there hi Teresa. that threw me off for a minute Teresa. i was like oh my god am i under Teresa's name <laughs> good evening jill <laughs> shoot i was like oh no i want Teresa renee's name <laughs> What is a boxer's favorite drink? Oh my gosh, that must be Martin. <laughs> what, what, Martin? Not on Facebook, can't share. Okay, why stream in another group? Um, I just wanted to see if we could go into that group on StreamYard, uh, just so I, because just in case later on, if we do anything, I wanted to be able to um, see if it would connect to StreamYard. Okay, let me get my screen on. And then I'll show you guys what I've been up to. Did all the things. Thank you. Did it work for me? Yeah, it'll work. Um, oh, I was like, where's my picture at? I couldn't even see it up there in the corner. Where is the StreamYard link? I can see you now, Callie. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I can see you now. Okay, so I did do a couple of molds. Um, so this one, these little cute little toys are, it's an old, uh, I was going to say stream yard, Stamperia mold. Um, it's from, it's, I don't even remember the collection, but I do have the number here if you want it. Um, because I thought it would be cute to put some toys in the sled, right? Because remember we did the sled and then also I did cut the holes out. Because, you know, when with decoupage, I did the whole, I did it right over the hole. So I did cut the holes out. Um, I, we need to pull out some uh, transfers because I'm going to put some transfers on here. And then we still have this one to do. Hi, Helen. How are you? Those are cute. Yeah, I thought it would be cute to put some, some toys in there, right? Um, I did use Form Flex for these. Only because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to bend these um, to get them in place on certain areas. I painted the deer. I just painted him all brown with a little bit of um, 
you know, light in his ears. So that way, when we do the velvet powder, we can kind of give him a little bit, you know, we could do his ears a little lighter in the velvet powder and then do his tail a little lighter. And then I thought what we could do with the sleigh, because remember, I wasn't sure what to paint it or what to do with it. So I will get out um, the indigo blue, which you guys know I love this color. We'll darken it up just a tad with some black, and then we'll do some paint splatters all over, because if you could tell, there's splatters in the paper. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, Sharon. Oh, I have the rocking horse. The rocking horse. Monica, how are you? Monica, look at my bling, girl. I got all my new bling yesterday. <laughs> and my necklace, too. So um, you guys always talk about my jewelry. So Team BFF is M Monica. Um, that's who I get all my jewelry from. She has her lives every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So... Got to go in there. Got to go in there. All right. So let's do, let's, I'm going to put these aside. So remember, Corn Flex, we just put it overnight. You got to let it dry on parchment paper. And I just have it drying on my rice paper that I had here. Okay. So all of the links are in the description except for the um rice paper because remember we give our retailers exclusive for the first week so the names of the paper um this one is festive stripes so find your favorite retailer and i'm sure they will have it and then remember i did use um i did use so this is dainty and the queen winter scenes um, and then we did the mirror mist, well, mirror mist, and then we used the, um, the new deluxe paste in gold. So now you guys can really see that it's dried. Hi. All right. So let's get to painting this. I always wondered where you got your jewelry. Oh, so Monica and her husband, they do lives every Monday, but they also do have a website. Monica, if you want to put your link in here for your website, please do. Um, it's Paparazzi Jewelry, $5 each. Um, there are a couple that you could do, um, like the whole set, you know, but even still, it's very inexpensive. And um, it's beautiful. So, um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm painting. <laughs> so how are you guys? What's been going on? Of course. I love you, Monica. You know I love you. You know I love you. Okay, so I am going to take a little bit of black because this blue is a little bit lighter. Plus, I always tell you guys, mixing in another color just helps give your paint a little bit of dimension as well. So it's just not kind of like cartoonish, if you will. Um, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Leona. So that is Monica's website. So, um, she does lives every Monday and she shows, you know, just a tiny portion of what she has. Um, but you can go on her website and sort it by, um, you know, rings, blue rings, um, bracelets, necklaces, whatever. And then that's, you know, even more than what she'll show on a Monday, but it's always fun to see her and her husband. They're so sweet. Okay. Just got home from shopping. Dana, love watching you, Terry. You're always so cheerful. Oh, thank you, Dana. Hi, Ari. How are you? Day of doctor's appointments. Jamie, are you okay? Okay, you guys, remind me to take that off. Hey, hey, Angel. Ooh, we got the whole Team BFF crew here today. I am lucky. You guys just knew I had all my bling on, my new bling on, huh? <laughs> okay, so now as you can see, look at that blue. Okay, and all we did was just take a little bit of the black. Remember, black is very potent, so you just need a little dab of the black and then that will get us closer to that blue color wasabi rima thank you jesse 
so more than likely i will just paint uh the outsides with you guys and then i will go and do the inside and bottom you know off screen um but right now i am because i do have my fan on and also because this is paper mache it's soaking up the paint and it's drying very quickly so i'm just going to take my mister bottle and just mist it a little bit okay and i'm being careful because i'm trying not to come over the the edge here and get onto the paper so we'll do splatters on here hi lori Hi, Annette, how are you? Oh, I know, right? The sleigh is so cute. And then with him going to sit in the front, I think it's going to be totally a little cute. A uh, little cute, like, again, like a little table setting, um, you know, centerpiece. Or like if you have a table in your foyer or something. If people come in, I think it would be cute. So, y'all, you seen the video of Troy Troy yesterday. You guys are all so sweet. Thank you for checking on him. I'm sorry that I basically was like, okay, see you Wednesday, bye. <laughs> I was like, I'm out of here. Uh, but I had heard him kind of making a little bit of a funny noise. And um, I I thought he was okay, but then I could see him from where I sit. I could see the sink in the kitchen, and he looked back at me like, Mom, I need you. And so that's when I was, you know, obviously out of here um, very quickly. Yeah, the mold is a Stamperia mold from a very long time ago. Well. Not there, but if you want it, I will let you. There's the number right there. Um, it's K three P T A four five thirty one. K three P T A four five thirty one. Um, so I'm sure you could still find it. Go on Etsy and find it. If not, there is a store that I'm pretty sure has it uh miniature luxuries i'm um, just being careful again right here because i don't i don't mind it if it hits the paper a little bit but i don't want to have a big pool of it on there it's like i need to get that side down a little bit your baby's comfort yeah hi i i'm so okay so it in the group there should be a link for uh, Facebook to for StreamYard because there's a lot of Facebook users. Um, if you don't want to click that link, if you could just tell me who you are so I could say hi to you. Sorry. I was just wanting to make sure I could stream into that group for future, for future uses, um, which I'm glad I did because I had to authorize StreamYard in that group. So... But what happens is when you go into a new group, and sometimes not even a new group, um, you always have to authorize StreamYard to, to you know, give me your name. Because right now, all it says is Facebook users. Hi, Lynn. Did Robin Song say they care? No, Robin doesn't carry Stamperia. Um, so if you want to go ahead and put Cindy's miniature luxuries uh go ahead i'm pretty sure cindy will have it you can also find um stamperia on uh etsy It was so funny yesterday when I was doing the video for Troy. You guys see that he was really preoccupied. It was because he was trying to get the music to play um, in the car because we have the, you know, the touch screen. So he was messing with it, trying to get the music to play. 
And then when I said, okay, tell our friends bye, he went like this. So he can't do this, which is I love you. So he went like this. And that's why it made me giggle because he said he was telling everybody, love you. Now, bye. Leave me alone. <laughs> Basically is what he was telling me. <laughs> you should do a night fair before Christmas project. Ooh. That's so funny you said that because I have um, a place settings with all the plates and cups and stuff of the Nightmare Before Christmas, and we just pulled it down. That would be a good idea. I have not done that yet. So if you could see that blue, I know the white, the big white throws it off, but we'll get that in just a minute. I'll, I'll change the brush too, so we're not here for 10 years. I just didn't want to get the paper. A corpse bride. Kimberly, hi. That would be a good idea. I'll have to pull my stuff out and see what I can come up with. Ooh, how am I going to get this without getting all over the place? Let's just hit it this way. So. Yeah, I really think what happened is Troy was really tired, you guys, because as soon as, you know, he was okay, um, he grabbed my hand and he pulled me to his room and he actually laid down and he took a nap and he took a good long nap, um, which actually kind of got me worried because I thought he was, you know, coming down with something. But the night before that, Mr. Troy Boy, yeah, you, he didn't want to sleep, y'all. So he was up late, late, late. And um, so I think it was a little, you know, bit of him being tired. And, you know, his little body was just like, huh, I need to rest. And, you know, he's always on the go, go, go. So I just think he needed to sleep because when he got up, ate dinner, he was good. And then you seen him when I took the video, he was good. So I really think he was just exhausted from, you know, pulling an all nighter. Guy, little guy doesn't like to sleep because he's always afraid he's going to miss something when, you know, people are awake. So he will do what he can to stay awake as long as he can. But I really think that's what it was, is he was just tired. Because sleep is not Troy's thing. And so for him to pull me to go take a nap, yeah, that's, uh, that's not normal for Troy. All right, let's change this brush up a little bit and paint. Watch out for RSV virus, heavy chest and head congestion. Yeah. We don't go anywhere. <laughs> but no, I know. Uh, and that's a lot of the reason, too, you guys, you know, when that, you know, COVID came out, that was my biggest thing was keeping, you know, Troy away from people and anything because you know when he gets a cold he gets taken down it's he gets taken down and it's you know a big long hard recovery for him even just the common cold so even though folks walk it around like it's gone and it's not uh, I still am very careful with with Troy. So he is, he is, he's feeling a lot better. And I was telling him, you know, everybody's checking on you, Troy, making sure you're okay. We got to let them know. So that's why I put up the little video just so y'all could see that he was good. And somebody made a comment like he was ready to go on his, you know, day with mom. 
Y'all, when he gets up in the morning, that's Troy. He has to be fully dressed, hair done, cologne on, um, shoes on, just in case, because he does not want to get left behind. So just in case we're about to go somewhere, he's ready, you know? But every day he's always looking up ready in his fly self the rest of us look like <laughs> we just woke up and there's troy oh oh thank you our hospital has to go back to mass due to oh wow really oh see and that's what scares me is like i don't I don't let Troy ch touch like the shopping carts. Um, even if I have wiped it down with alcohol, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just, scary, scary. Yes, I knew what you meant, Kimberly. Yeah, flu season. And see, Troy, we've only gotten Troy the COVID flu shot one time. And it scared me so much. Um, it was so hard on him, his little body, you know, that I will never do that again. Never, ever. It was so hard on him. That flu shot was one of the scariest things I've watched him go through. So... All right, so like I said, we're just going to get the main of this, you know, done. And then I will go through and do the back and, or not the back, the bottom and the inside. So that way we can get on since, you know, I decided to take on another monster project. That's my style. <laughs> But who is that that's saying hello at the doctor with my husband? Who is that? I can only see it says Facebook user. Hello. Hope everything's okay. Gotta be safe and sorry. Yes. I know. So. And, you know, that's why, like, we do our outings, of course. Like, he goes, you know, we go to take Trevor to school, and I take him into, like, the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General or something like that. But even still, I'm really careful with him because Troy won't wear a mask. He he wouldn't wear it. Um, he wouldn't wear a mask. He wouldn't wear a face shield. He, he doesn't like any of that stuff on him. He will literally yank it off. So, you know, I have to be careful, but. All right, let's push that up, not touch Terry. Okay, so I'm gonna get this little piece here and then I'll do the rest, like I said. Okay, so now we have a very blue, whoa, whoa, we have a very blue sleigh. Let's make sure we got it covered and I don't see any white. As usual, I'll go around the edges. Um, with probably a wax like how I do. All right. I can't handle mass. You feel like I can't breathe. Yeah, he just, he won't. So we are damned if we do, damned if we don't. <laughs> Hi, Cindy, how are you? Okay. Cindy, are you okay? Is your husband okay? My goodness, you guys. Ugh. 
just that time of the year or everybody please take care of yourselves Be careful okay so now what i'm gonna do is dry this just a little bit and then we will put some splatters on here what papa i set you all up right there my love i put your uh tablet and all of your whole all your stuff over there baby boy How's that Holly girl doing? Again, this is going to dry fairly quickly because it is the paper mache. Actually, I probably don't even need to use this plate. I'll just do it on my mat. I'm noisy today with all my clinking and clinking. If I'm too noisy with my bracelets, just let me know. I can pop them off. I don't know if you guys can even hear them. Mm. 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 What, well, baby? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do with that, bud. You keep showing that to me, but I'm not sure what that means. Your camera is fine. What kind of he told us that love? We don't hear it. It's actually loud, Rennie. It's loud. It's a Takiko TGK. It's loud. I just have cancellation on my um, on StreamYard. It cancels it for me. But it's it's loud. I mean, it's not like hair dryer loud, but it's loud. I just turn off. Every, I just make sure that all of that is not heard as much as possible. So I kill the background noise on StreamYard. Had he had a fall three years ago and broke many bones. Put together now with a lot of metal. Fell in a hole. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't want to. Okay, so I'm actually going to take, um, I'm going to take my, oh, I'm going to take some of my primer, my acrylic uh, primer. Why? Well, because it is not as um, opaque, if you will. So we just want splatters, right? I don't want big lops of, of white. So I just want it to be splattered. And so if it's not opaque in all areas, that's that's okay. I don't want that. I'm just going to use a fan brush. So I have put it right there on my mat. You wish everybody had that feature. <laughs> and so I'm actually going to use a lot of water. And my fan brush. And then I'm just going to come. And this is when y'all, if you do splatters, you'll notice splatters are all over your desk, you know? Um, let me wipe this up because I'm gonna lay it on its side for a minute and I don't want it on my rice paper. Not too much anyways. I don't mind if it's on there, but I don't want it on there a whole bunch.
less messy. Oh yeah, because when you do the toothbrush and you're like it flicks back at you. <laughs> I've tried to use whoops, doggone it. I've tried to use the paintbrush before I toothbrush before and the you know when you're running your finger on it 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 splats right back at you. <laughs> All right, and then let's lay it down this way. Just make sure you're using a lot of water, um, you know, because that's what's going to get it off of your brush, right? And you can see I'm just using my nail and tapping it, but you could do it this way or, you know, like this too. You could hit it on the back of your finger. But I just find the fan brush will just give you just enough. Okay. But like I said, if you don't want it on your phone and you're, you know, everywhere else, <laughs> move it all away because you will get splatters. That looks really cool and definitely matches the paper. Yeah, it does, right? It is a disc in the, oh my goodness gracious. And what I will end up doing, y'all, is painting the bottom and, you know, doing the splatters all over the bottom as well. All right. So let's get on the inside here because that's going to look funny. We don't. So you guys. And then I'm running out of places. Yeah, but it's not on the inside of this either. So let's go down in there. Okay, so that looks good enough to me. So there you go. So now we have our splatters to match our paper. Have to go to a meeting, hold to be back before you're done. Okay, thank you for being here. I don't know who that is. Don't worry, y'all. I won't do, I'm not going to stream in here all the time. It was just, I needed, like I said, I wanted to connect the group to my stream yard. So, and I can't, well, I guess I could have tested it, but even if I tested it, I'd still need to go live and then I'll be on there. Oh, I'm just testing. That would have been silly. <laughs> okay, so wipe this up. I probably have splatters on my legs. Thankfully, I wore shorts. <laughs> okay, and then I'll dry this a little bit. I see that I missed the blue in the little openings right there. I will paint that later as well. So, and you can do as much as you want or as little. When I first did splatters, I didn't realize I had splattered my wall. A day later, I realized it. And I, oh, no, Mary. After it dried. Oh, not fun, not fun. And then what I am going to do is I want to make this um, shiny. So we will also put a varnish on top of it. So, all right, let me show you guys. So this is what we have on our end. Again, all of this stuff off camera. We're here long enough, right? <laughs> Look at there. I told you there's splatters everywhere. I don't actually mind it on here, but in here, there's splatters on the deer too. <laughs> That's okay though. Okay, so let's move this back to the side and get this out of the way. You guys, I don't know. I put them in the sleigh. I'm not sure why, but okay. Now you can see that I did go ahead and put the trim on this. Um, what I didn't realize, look at that. <laughs> what I didn't realize is when the heat tool was on here, it melted the little loop, but that's okay because um, I am going to, where did I do? Put it. I'm going to end up wrapping one of these form flexes around it 
here at the top and I can always put the loop back in there, but I also thought it would be cute to get the Merry Christmas that comes out of the Santa sleigh mold from the new Prima release. So we'll put the Merry Christmas. And this is why I was, I was telling you guys I did it on the um, the Form Flex. You could do this with Jovi Clay too. But, you know, Jovi Clay, if I cast it right now with you guys, I can't paint it because it's going to be wet. So that's the only, only reason why I did it like that. But you guys know my favorite clay is and probably will always be the Jovi Clay. So... And I've used quite a bit of clay. Hi, Donna Sue. How are you? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Is somebody asking for this? So it's indigo blue, the uh, acrylic paint matte. But I did mix in a little bit of black. Just a teeny bit. Okay. So I do still want to put the smaller trim around here. The reason why I didn't do it yet is because I wanted to add a couple of... Um, <laughs> a couple of transfers, splatter, splatters everywhere. But I mean, come on, you gotta love splatters. You gotta, you gotta. Thank you. I know, right, Miss Edie? You gotta do splatters. Love the splatters. Okay, so let's get out a couple of the transfers. So I have this in my Amazon store. I showed you guys this cute pack. Somebody said it was out of stock. It isn't. Um, I'm not sure what happened, why it said that, or maybe it went out of stock for a minute, but it's not out of stock because I just looked at it. So it was, I think we counted 10 or 12 pieces, and um, I think it was $20. So... Yeah, check again if you're interested in this. It's in my Amazon store, but it, it's not out of stock. So I thought it would be cute to do transfers on the front and the back of this and then um, put on the trim. I did that mold this morning, but couldn't figure out how to paint the wording and without making a mess. Um, I did that for another one. See if I can find it here. I'll show you today because I'm going to paint them. I thought I had it over here. I'm sure I do. Oh, yeah. See, I did one. So I did it all blue, and then I went back over the Mary just lightly with my brush. I'm doing, I told you guys, I'm going to use my baubles. I have another set of baubles I'm doing. Okay. And then also for this blue one, I talk about my friend, Nicole, the mixed palette. Sorry. She has a bunch of shakers. And with that, she sells a bunch of the little, like, you know, the goodies for inside the shakers. So if you could see this one, this one's called Baby, It's Cold Outside. I thought we could put some of that in the blue one because we met uh, the blue, the heart one, because we haven't done the heart yet. But just a couple of the Christmas ones. This one is hot cocoa. And then this one is oh Christmas tree. But look how cute some of that stuff is in there. Paint whole piece, single color varnish, then add wax to highlight. Yep, you could do that too. It says currently unavailable. Oh, that's just Maybe I link something else because I just looked at it and it was it was in stock. But you guys know I do strange things sometimes. Okay, so I want to put something cute on here, but it's got to be you know small-ish. And then don't forget we're gonna put this around it. So that's why I waited because I wanted to put the transfer on here first before. I did anything. We can put that bell on there. Um, or the Christmas tree. I kind of like the Christmas tree with that at the top. 
Um, is that what you mean? Yes, it's in my um, description too, Rennie. Will you post the shakers and where to get them? Somebody is liking those. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can do that. It's at the mix palette is it. The website is in my description, but I can definitely link to the specific project. I mean, I have a big drawer full of all of these. The, she does um, for Halloween. There's like witches hats in there. Oh my God. And bats. They're so cute. So cute. Okay. Make a decision, Terry. Oh, I knew I was going to do this. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. And they're all so cute. I don't know which one to use. So I'm going to do the tree with the pine cones at the top. Look at these little. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hold on. Will they fit? They will fit. They will fit. Thank you, Miss Wanda. You're never late, Miss Wanda. You are never late. I just appreciate the time that you are here. And I haven't said this in a while. So um, I'm, I apologize if you come in and I do not say hi to you. Please, if I haven't said hi to you because I missed your comment, please say hi again or until I see your comment. Um, and a lot of the times, the book will filter comments for some reason. So, oh, look at how cute that will be. So, yeah. And then all the people who are silent watchers, thank you for being here. I appreciate you too. All right. I'm going to put the tree on the other side. With the little, oh, I kind of, hmm, huh. stop it, Terry. Just stop it. Got a lot to do. <laughs> Where's every, here's where everyone is. <laughs> Holly girl heard that and saw it. That's the end to our, ah, they're really, um, well, Nicole's prices are amazing. We've told her many times that she needs to. <laughs> charge more but yeah they're for what you get you could see these things are filled to the rim and um they're called shakeums uh but yeah i i need to show you guys one day i have an entire drawer filled uh i'm always busy crafting that's why i'm silent oh that's fine that is fine elizabeth no, I was just saying, you know, because my because there's some people that um never never say anything, and that's perfectly fine too. But I just wanted to say hello, hello, and thank you. Okay, so let's get. Uh, I'm just going to use a small. No, I don't like these wooden ones either. It's my tool or the the plastic. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Sue. Okay. So as much as possible, y'all know what? what? No. Hold up, y'all. I'm pulled it back so I can see. Oh, he's on there crooked. I pulled it back so I can see and it's making it even worse. I can't even see. Well, they're crooked, so such is life. <laughs> it's plastic, right? So as soon as it hits plastic, it's going to stick. And it let me pull it back that one time. But the second time, it was like, nope, sorry. So the day that that week and weekend of the uh, november so november 12th is going to be the first um meet and greet in zoom if you don't know what i'm talking about uh you can join the crafty chaotics group and we are going to do a meet and greet 
where you can see everybody, talk to everybody. Um, you can have a, you know, your camera on. You could just come on just voice if you want. Just to sit, chat, craft, cook, whatever you want to do. Have a cocktail, whatever you want to do. But just for, you know, you to have some place to talk to everybody and just have some some time with friends. And then the reason why I brought that up is because, uh, so I'll have, that will be on Sunday, the first one we're going to do on a Sunday, and then we'll probably change the day. But I thought that Sunday might be cute for, look at that, even though it's crooked. Sunday might be a good day for the first one. And then that Saturday before that, I have creative hour. The Friday before that, I'm going to probably do my auction. And then the Thursday before that, I was invited to do a mystery ATC event. So you guys will be seeing me a whole bunch that week. So let's try not to do that again. For these being just Amazon transfers, they are very good and easy to use. I know, Miss Linda, y'all are going to get sick of me. Because literally on that Wednesday, I'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> It'll be like, oh, God, no, not her again. <laughs> oh, I was watching Dina. So designs by Dina last night. I caught a bit of her live. It was so cute. Her and her husband did the styrofoam tree like I did. And um, she did basically the same colors as mine was. But she was like, at first when she started, she was saying like it was my fault because she thought it was going to be harder than what it was. But when she got, got them going, it turned out really cute. And her husband, Kenny, did such a good job. It was so cute. You're in demand. I don't know about that. I don't know about being in demand, but yeah, like I said, you guys are definitely going to get your fill of me. Hang on, I'm telling you, I need to go to the eye doctor like now. Still have to wait till December. That's going to... Time for bed as I have to get up at 4 a.m. for work. Thank you for a lovely live stream, Terry. Okay, good night. Thank you for being here. Hope you get some good rest. 4 a.m. Good, cuddly, muggly. That's early. Early, early. There we go. Look at how cute that is. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and actually put real snow down here with the snow pin. We'll get that wrinkle out of there. So when you have a bit of a wrinkle, you just kind of go in with your burnishing pad and get it down but you do want to get it down because you don't want air underneath your transfer because it will dry out okay and then lift hi fiona how are you troy troy's doing much better yep he just he's had a little bit oh saying hi him and brother <laughs> um he just his reflex was acting up so i had to hurry and get off okay so really quickly let's put the trim around there hi miss kathy i learned something new with all your ah i'm so glad sharon 
I know, right? And then what I thought on this one, we could put on a transfer and then put some of the pretty shakeums in there. Okay, Jesse, have a good day at work. I will tell you guys, though, the live on that Thursday for the ATC event is going to be late. Because when I when she first asked me, I was like, oh, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but I can try. And then she said Thursday, and I went, I can't do it. I take Trevor to and from school on, on Thursdays. So she said how, you know, that I guess they weren't going till the evening anyways. So it's actually going to be like four o'clock my time, which is going to be seven o'clock Eastern time. So I know Europe, I won't see you guys because that's going to be a nightmare. But... That's the only way I could have done it on that day. The only way she's asked me before, but I, it was on, they were doing it on Saturdays and there was absolutely no way. Well, I say no way. I just don't like to do any commit to anything on Saturdays because I have creative hour. And, you know, it is creative hour, but I don't ever rush the artist. So I'm not like, hey, time to get off. It's an hour, you know. So I just don't want to commit to anything. And then because I, I would end up, you know, backing out of it because creative hour, you know, I can't couldn't do that to pull the plug on them or anything. That would be nice. So I'm just grabbing tight bond. You can use your fingers. You could use a brush. I get enough stuff on my fingers, so I use a brush. <laughs> but because it is the wood you do need to heat it to put it on you need to heat it when it's on yeah creative hour is always first priority on saturdays so um you know the only time usually you'll see me do like a double up on creative hour is if i I'm doing it for work, you know, if it's for the Royal Court or for Dexaflox Queen. Otherwise, I don't, I tend not to do anything else on Saturdays. I try to be, <laughs> I try to be, a, you know, like I said, I don't ever, I don't want to commit to something and then not do it. And then I, I'm not going to, you know, rush anybody because of a commitment that I have made, which. I know that can fit in there. So I'm actually going to just leave it. I'm not going to snip it. OK, so now that I have it on. I am going to heat it up and curl it on there. I'm trying to attempt to make cake, this cake called Coco Flan. And ha has anyone ever made? I've never heard of Coco Flan. This Saturday is Chris Hunter, y'all. It's going to be another good one. They're always good, though. But, yep, I have Chris Hunter on with me. This Saturday, it's only fitting, right? The whoops, the um, weekend before or the Halloween weekend, I guess. 
So who knows? She kind of made a comment to me, like, are we dressing up? But that kind of just was like a comment. So I don't know. Knowing Chris, I'm, I'm going to pop on and she's going to be in full-blown costume. Which will be absolutely amazing if she is. It doesn't really matter if I'm in costume because you guys only see me a tiny bit. Um, but I do not put it past her to be in costume. Okay, so I'm just heating this up, getting it in place. And then... Hello. How are you? I can only, it says Facebook user, so I'm sorry. But hello. I I haven't heard of Coco Flan. Flan, but not Coco Flan. Be careful when you're um, heating these up, all right? Especially when it's already snapped closed. Because it can burst open on you because it's, you know, plastic. So just be careful. All right. So this is pretty well snug on there. So we'll let that set up. But look at how cute that is. All the lights. And then I'm, I will paint this after. Okay. So we have this one and that one. Oh, it's hair. So let's grab this and then grab out our transfers again. Now let's see. So these are the IOD transfers. I didn't use these because I don't think there's anything that's going to be tiny enough to get on the heart. So you guys, you know what I'm going to do with this? Um, so you know there's a big Santa in here and that car. What I'm going to do is scan these into my scan and cut so I can put them on a stronger backing. And then I'm going to do something, a craft with them. I'm trying to find him. Where did he go? So him. So I'm going to scan that image in so I can put it on chipboard. And then we can have, I'm going to do a craft with it. I don't know what yet, but, oh, look at that cute little deer. Doe, whatever. But these are too big. They're not going to fit. We're going to have to pull out the other one unless there's a tiny fairy in here. She's tiny, but I don't think they're going to fit. All right. Let's pull out our Amazon one. And so remember, we're going to put something in here. I don't know. One of these. That heart's really tiny. That little bird is cute. Here we go again, y'all. The presents, too big. That would be cute, just the little wreath on there. Oh, maybe we do him. Okay, hold on. Him or him? I don't know. One of these. I know, Miriam. I don't know why it keeps doing that, why it keeps saying that it's out, because the last time I put, I used these, everybody was saying they were out, and then I went, and it said, you know, deliver by Sunday, I think it said, like, in stock. So I was like, okay, maybe it was just something funny, and then now Sue says it's out, too, so... I'm going to have to check what I put in there. 
And then I'm gonna grab this little birdie. Oh, maybe I should do, was there a smaller birdhouse? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Can I get that house on there if I put it to the side? One more thing in my Amazon cart. <laughs> I'm looking for a little birdhouse. Otherwise, I'm going to make that one fit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Sorry, I know that's probably obnoxious. Okay. Get that. It will fit. Look at that little baby deer. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh, I was going to say, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay. So you'll have to go in the package. We'll use you somewhere else. Back on it, and I can't make up my mind. That's nothing new. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm telling you guys. So, I already can see the time is, I've already been on an hour. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'll paint those molds off camera. Um, the toy molds. Because... Otherwise, we will never be done. I'm going to kind of make him a little diagonal. That's okay. We're enjoying it. Aw. I just don't know how come the time goes by so fast. See, hold on. I had already cleaned these all with alcohol, but... Because I uh, did the splatters, let me just run it on these really quick again. So I'm just using 99% alcohol. So although the splatters don't, they look fine. I just don't want it to be a place where the transfer will lift. Although I don't really think these transfers will go anywhere. They're so strong. I had to order a tool for my hubby. So my stuff got ordered too. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of have him come on here diagonal, which you can't really tell. And then that'll go straight down. Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh Lord. You guys see it? Or did I put it in my bag? Probably put it in my bag, huh? So it was so cute yesterday. Troy Troy was eating because I always pack a lunch for him when we take Trevor to school. And we take his backpack too. Because you know he's got to do what brother does, right? Can't leave him out. So he was, he had a little um, turkey and um, a turkey crackers and cheese lunchable. And he's so funny. He only eats the cheese out of it. But it was so cute, y'all. So I was driving and he only ate the cheese. And then he was making, he was putting the turkey on the cracker and he was giving it to me. He was feeding me. It was so cute. I was like, oh, thanks, Troy, Troy. It was funny though, because, you know, I put it in my mouth. Look at how cute that looks. I put one in my mouth and I'm trying to chew it. And he's making me another one going, mm, mm, mm. I'm like, wait, I've got to chew it first. I can't chew and swallow that fast, my goodness. But it was funny. But it was so cute. I was like, oh, Troy Troy. Such a sweet guy. What was that? 
that onyx you sound like a breathing dragon i know isn't that so cute it was so cute until he was like he was making them faster literally though than i could chew <laughs> and he's like mm, mm, mm. i'm trying son i can't chew them that fast slow down oh that little bow isn't on there all the way there we go look at that so we have the birdie on one side whoa and then we'll have the house and the other. And then we will put in our, oh, Lord, Lord it be. I got to use that doggone stick fast, don't I? Yeesh. I know. He's such a good boy. He's so sweet. He was cute. He'd never done that before. So I was like, oh, oh. I don't know what I did with that. I probably put it in my uh, my package. Hold on. Oy, wait a minute. Okay. I got to make sure these get in the package because they will be a snack for Onyx if not. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to grab is... So, yeah, these are what I'm talking about that I will paint off camera so you guys don't have to be tortured by watching me paint these unless you guys want me to paint them on camera. But it's up to you. You let me know. So I am going to stick. I might. I don't know how this is going to look. Okay, so because all of our other stuff is, I don't know, Blue-ish. Should we should we use the baby? It's cold outside. So it's got little blue candy canes, blue snowflakes, or should we use just the traditional? Okay, you guys want to see me paint? All right. Or should we use the traditional? So this one I think is Candy Cane Lane. No, Hot Cocoa. This one is Hot Cocoa. No, it's not the same blue. No, uh-uh. It's not the same blue. Or the presents, which is Oh Christmas Tree. No. They're not the same blue, and I'm not really necessarily worried about it um, being the same blue because it's just going to be inside of the heart. What is it stuck on? Hold on. Hot cocoa blue. Oi. Hi, Brenda. Thank you. Oh, Christmas tree, red and green in the transfers. Oh, that's true. Yep. Red and green in the transfers. See what I'm talking about? So if we want to get something close to the color. Oh, that one's cute, too. This is Candyland. But yeah, I, there's nothing that's just that dark blue. She even has Mad Hatter that has like the Drink Me bottles in there. So cute. Okay, what is this one? Oh, that's leaves. But again, I don't think it's close enough. Ah, uh, thanks, Sharon. I try. <laughs> All right. So let's just use 
let's just use these. I'm not going to use these big ones because there's small ones in here. See, there's little tiny ones in there. These, because it's a small heart, I don't want to do so many of those. Thank you, Shannon. All right. So let's do. Is this the one I'm going to want? Yeah, that's the ridge I'm going to want. All right. Look at the Christmas trees, though. And the little packages. It's so cute. I'll put one big one in there. Oh my word, y'all. Look at that little tiny bow. I, I don't know about you guys, but I love like little tiny knickknack, like a race. Look at that little bow. You guys can't see it. Look at how cute that little bow is. <laughs> okay. Oh, Fiona, they're um they're from Nicole. Nicole Palos. The mixed palette. Okay. So, I keep thinking it's too much, but then I put it together and it seems like it's okay. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit more of both and then I'll close it up. All right. Okay. Again, there, we're, how much of this you're going to see, I don't know. It's going to be in the sleigh, but still, right? We're not going to glue these things down in the sleigh, so it'll be cute, like if somebody's looking at all the pieces. Um, each one of them will have something really neat. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys, I'm really scared to use this stick fast. Because, you know, I have to pop it in. Let's transfer it. And I hope it doesn't pop. Make my heart pop. Literally. Ah! <laughs> Onyx keep running. What happened? I'm using stick taps. That's what happened. And I... Don't lock it. Okay, please don't pop out. Is all I beg of you. Hold on. Is it in? Is it just in and it's not popping? I guess so. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. And then we'll have some like really cute. Um, we'll do something cute to the, like a ribbon or whatever on the outside. I guess this one didn't pop. All right, let's wipe it. I can feel some. I love the stretchy rings and I need a band for um yeah all of the all of the uh rings from team bff monica well i think all paparazzi rings are the the stretch bands so obviously this one isn't from her the little one with the, the chain but they all have the stretch bands oh it's so cute in the house Okay. All right. So we have those three now. Hey, 
Hey, you know, you know can eat it. That's mine. Oh, that's another thing, y'all. I have tons and tons of tons of Stamperia molds that I'll be putting in those little boxes, the mystery boxes. A lovely red ribbon with a bow. Yes, exactly. So I have a bunch of ribbons and bow, because all of them except for the one, but I can still make a hanger for that. All of them will have ribbons and pretty stuff. Okay, so we are uh, always close to being out of time, always, because I take so long. And I thought it would be so cute once we have him velvet powdered to paint like the holly lane and kind of wrap it around his neck. Isn't it? Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so cute. Oh, Onyx, please don't eat that. But I will paint most all of them. That was rough. Whoa, can I drop it again? I will paint most of them with you guys. Um, if you guys want to. <laughs> I can't wait for the mystery box event. Yeah, there's there's gonna be so much in those boxes, y'all. Oh, cannot wait. I'm excited. So that way they can go to a good home where I know they will be used. Okay, I'm looking for, because I'm going to custom make a color for him. So my excess I'll put in here. I'm going to grab a dark brown velvet powder, a lighter tan color, and then also the white, maybe. Hello? Hello, where did you go? Um, oh, I didn't grab the pen. I grabbed the big one. Durr, durr, durr. Definitely needs a wreath around the neck. I know, right, Winnie? Wouldn't that be cute? So I have a ton of them. Like I have, oh God, I have the texture plates. You guys, I've done that for you guys before. Most of you guys have never seen it. But I did the texture. I have texture plates, molds. I have, he's good, Betty. Hi, Karen Atterbury. How are you? Is it Atterbury or Atterbury? Probably shouldn't have Atta. Um, He's doing good, Betty. He's doing so good. Thank you all for asking about him. Oi! But he's doing really good. I, I really, really do think it was because he was tired. And you guys, you know, he's, he's, a, he's an itty-bitty guy. He's a small guy, so... You know, he was tired. His little body was like, no, mom, I need to rest. When I was in California years ago, I was surprised that the deer ears were so different from you. Are they really? Oh, I didn't open this big one. What do you mean? How are they different, Rennie? Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? And I thought it would be cute, too, to do, like, little specks of, um, you know, different colors on him. Like, we don't want to just make it all one color, right? We were all very concerned. I, I'm i so sorry. And I, you know what, I appreciate you guys all so much. Like, I was very overwhelmed by how many people were checking on him. I just felt so humbled and thankful. Uh, I know I left... I never, you guys know, I never leave like that, but the look that he had in his eyes was literally like, mom, I need help. So it, it kind of, I felt bad, you know, because I knew he was holding it. Now that I think about it, I'm thinking about what he was doing or now when I started thinking about it, I thought about what he was doing, the faces he was making, how he was acting. and. He was holding it, y'all, for a while. And so, you know, I just kind of felt bad. 
but yeah, you guys, I mean, so many messages and I was trying to thank everybody. And then that's why I kind of just put up the video because there was, I was overwhelmed with the love from everybody asking how he was. So I thought it was only right to let you guys see him and say, you know, Hey, <laughs> I'm good. He's part of the family. Aw, thank you. Yep. Our family is always going to come first, isn't, aren't they? So. All right. So I'm just, as you can see, I mixed in three colors. Um, the white, the brown, and the tan. I am not going to be, this isn't to me like paint where I always tell you guys, make sure you over mix, you know, in a sense, because it's hard to match that color again. Um, this one, I'm not so worried about it because their fur, their coat, it's not going to be the same color, is it? So we're going to give it a little bit of dimension with some different colors. Um, that's why I said I left, you know, I did some lighter colors in you know his ears tails and his little nose so we can do um yeah so we could do some different colors yeah he's good you guys all were what do you do no that's it oh, no give me my christmas don't look don't don't no 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 you want to paint one How you could have the ducky. We just lost the ducky, y'all. We just lost the ducky. Troy's going to go paint it. We lost him. I'll make another one. Okay, so let's start. What I'll do is I'll start this with you guys, and then I will finish this part off the live because... I mean, you don't need me to see me velvet powder the whole deer. But, oi. <laughs> but um, I use the decor tacky glue. Right now, I'm not going to do those lighter spots. I mean, if some gets in there, that's fine. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. That would be funny if I wasn't using it. Yeah, I am. All right, so we're just gonna use thin layer here. And then, like I said, I'll start it with you guys, then I'll let you all go, and then I'll finish it. I'm gonna do it one of these times. You can't, you can put it in. Troy can add his masterpiece to it. You always make more. Yeah, I can always make more. I'm trying to paint and listen to grief. That's okay, Miss Wanda. I do that all the time. I usually will be on a live and I'll come in and say hi. And then, um, you know, of course, I'll wait a second because usually I say hi to people in the chat or someone else says hi to me. And so I want to make sure that I respond. And then I tend to just go silent because um, I'm usually crafting. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? This is not paint. This velvet powder. Mm. I I need to get you. Look, Papas, this still has blue paint on it. Here, Pops. Look, there's still blue paint right there. Please don't get that on you. That is a really dark blue. I yapo. Go put it there. Oh, for the love of goodness. He's on my couch. Boy, you're doing all the things. Okay. He needs his own paint set. Um, I pop in and out because of work. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> you're funny, Kimberly, you're at work. Um, he does have, like, I have some old, not old, but I have some Prima Finnebar. 
um, paints that I don't use anymore that I let him use. Um, he has his own like a little watercolor set and stuff, but because I haven't watercolored in a long time, he's not going to watercolor. Does he have washable paints? No. <laughs> Speaking of washable paints. Oh, Troy. Wait a minute, bud. No, come back. Come back. You have blue still. Um, he doesn't like, I told you all, he does not like things on his hands. No, he doesn't have washable paints. I should probably have washable paints, I know. But for the most part, Troy's really good with getting, you know, stuff on things. He was just, had his knees on the couch and then rolled back to put that plate on his TV tray. So it was, I was afraid he was going to get on something. Oh my God. Goodness is a beautiful. It's beautiful. That's a lot of paint, but it's beautiful. My goodness gracious, that's a lot of paint. Yeah, that's a one little itty bitty dot sign. Come on, I'm trying to say goodbye to our friends. I just gotta put a little bit of this on. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to scoop some of that up and grab my little catch plate and then let's start putting it on him this is gonna feel and look so cool you guys with the velvet powder on there all right <laughs> Pretty element. It is a master. Hi, Brenda. It's a masterpiece, Troy Troy. It is a Troy original. I bid ten dollars for the ducky. You're so cute, Miss Linda. <laughs> Somebody told me one time. It was when Troy Troy painted, and I still have the picture right here. So Troy Troy painted a canvas, mm -hmm. and somebody told me that I needed to put mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. in the auction. Mm -hmm. I didn't, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I thought it was really mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this, though? Where did you get this? It's not even a mold that I have out here. You're going to freak out, Troy. You have blue all over your fingers. Good, Cuggly Muggly. He's finding molds. I don't like the feel of velvet, but love the look. Um, And you know, I get what you're saying if you don't, if the texture. Um, it does feel nice and soft, but yeah, I mean, no. It's, it's velvety, right? If you don't like it, you're not going to like it because it does. But look at that. And then we're going to put his eyes and give him a cute little nose and do the lighter in the ears. It's just going to look amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't know where you found all of those molds. No! Give it <laughs> Oh, Troy! Give it back! Well, never mind now. The tricycle has blue on it. <laughs> Troy, I cast it. I did those the other day because they're thicker. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to hide it. He, he took my tricycle. That's the only thing you'll, if, well, those of you who use Stamperia molds, you'll know the molds are, are quite deep. They're thick. So I casted them. I put them in the form flex the other day because they're going to take, you know, a good amount to dry. 
but apparently I'm going to need to cast a couple of more today. Can you just put the velvet powder on wet paint? Um, I don't know, Betty. I, I think that would be a mess. Wait, bud. Wait, wait. I'm, Mama's talking. Um, because you have to rub it in to get it to stick, right? And so when you have wet paint, typically it will like do that little curdling and it would be a hot mess for one. Uh, and I, I just feel like it would mix in with the paint. You would lose the velvet. Oh, I have all of those. I love the deck cards. I always use that from that mold. Can you wash the paint off and repaint? Wash the paint off and repaint. I'm not sure what you mean. Wash the paint off. Oh, of the molds? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Mm. I, uh, well. mm. There goes the tricycle. Mm. I know, Papa's. Your fingers are all blue, all of them. Go wash them in the the sink, love bug. It's ugly, muggly. What do you? What have you done, Betty? What toy did? Yeah, no, these. Yeah, I mean, but he's he he has it glopped on, so like it. And he wants me to dry it, so it's gonna, it's gonna be. You won't be able to see the definition of the tire. Can you see all that glopped in paint right there? I'll just make some more. It's okay. All right. So look at our deer. Look at that. How cool that looks, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish him. I will do that all over. Um, and if you could see the different colors, that's not the. You're not seeing the paint. Like there's some darker, some lighter right here, and there's lighter in the neck here already. Um, so I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna continue mixing these three. And then I will do the rest of him. Um, I'll probably do the lighter parts, but then obviously like decorating him and stuff like that. We will do that together on Friday. And then I will, if I have any of these left by the time he's done, um, I will paint these. <laughs> I took the bear and the rocking horse so he couldn't get it. I'll paint these with you. They won't be too bad. Um, I am going to paint them, though. You guys sure you want to watch? Because I'm not going to just, like, slap one layer on and do a wax. I'm going to actually paint him. Paint him. Oh, God. <laughs> Boy, you have to dry your hands when you wash them, you silly goose. <laughs> night tea. Thank you. Good night. It looks like velvet when you rub the knee. Oh, yeah. It, it's velvet powder. So, I mean, it's perfect. It's, gonna, it's just going to be perfect. And we'll have to get him some little googly eyes to put on here. You want to see? Love the bear. I know. I love them all. That's why I did them. So this one actually has um, like the little spinner top toy. It has a little kitty. Um, the dice and the pretzel down there. A little heart, ice cream cone, and a bow. So I'll redo the ducky and the tricycle right now. And then when I come back with you guys, we'll paint. We really, I mean, it, um, it's not that much to do that's left. So we will, this is what he was feeding me yesterday. I guess he wants it again. So we're going to finish up. I will finish painting the bottom and splatter the bottom of the sleigh. Um, when we come back on Friday, we will paint the molds on, on the baubles. We'll put the ribbons on. Um, I'm going to find something to put around here. I might just put a regular um, clay mold, the rope mold around this one. 
Um, and then, so we'll paint all of that. We'll paint the little guys. We'll finish him because we got to decorate him. We got to give him a little net gear and all that good stuff and then put it together. So, hi, Anna. How are you? So I think that will do it. Um, I mean, I say that we don't have much to do, right? But then I'll come on on Friday and do a gabillion things. So hopefully we can get this done on Friday. I'll do a lot of the like busy work um, today. Uh, what you know when I leave here, and then um, we'll put it all together. So what mold is that? I missed that part. The toy mold. This one is a uh, Stamperia. It's a, just a Stamperia. It's an older mold. Um, if you want to, that's the number right there. The K3 PTA 4531. So um, you can search it on Etsy or uh, if you go back in the comments, miniatureluxuries.com has it as well. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. Thank you for being here. I will see you on Friday. We also have Happy Mail, so Happy Mail Friday. But anyhow, thank you. I will see you guys then. Have a great rest of your evening.